<laughs> I'm a nurse ranger, so is my friend Jason. So Jason, what do you do here? Thanks a lot, James. I'm here with Aviva. So we're um, partnering with this event because we think electric vehicles and the future of electrification in vehicles is really, really important. So what encouraged you to be in Aviva? So I joined Aviva a number of years ago. Actually, when I joined Aviva, electric vehicles wasn't something we were talking about. So we're here today because there's more and more electric vehicles on the road, and there's more and more people that are thinking about this and excited about electric vehicles. When did you start working on electric vehicles? So we really, about I would say about 12 months ago, started thinking about what's going on in the electric vehicle world, just as part of what's going on in the auto sector generally, because auto insurance is so important to insurance companies and to Aviva, that trying to get ahead of what's going on in auto, in the auto industry, and how that's going to impact the auto insurance industry going forward, felt like the right thing to do. So Jason, what's the difference between getting insurance for an, uh, an electric car but get, and then getting insurance for an ICE engine car? So if you get insurance for an electric car, if you got your insurance with Aviva, for instance, you'd get 20% reduction in your insurance premium. But other than that, the policy and what the policy covers is the same. What type of insurance will I need at my home if I'm using putting high voltage into my garage? Yeah, so a couple of things. First of all, I would say that if, if you're doing that, obviously make sure that you're getting the, <coughs> the installation and the charger properly done by licensed uh, registered mechanics, electrical engineers, etc. But secondly, if you have that in your home or in your garage, your regular insurance policy today would cover that. The only difference is whether it's your home insurance that's covering it because you have something fully installed in your garage for instance or if it's a sort of temporary charger then it would still be covered under your contents and your personal belongings insurance so as long as you've got good decent solid cover for your home insurance any charger or anything that's been properly installed is going to be fully insured thanks jason for helping the earth and helping it get really more green and thank you for sponsoring the plug-in drive thanks jason thanks very much great to meet you